Okay, hello. Hello everybody. Okay. Um I'm gonna I'm I'm doing this video. I sorry, I'm making this video. Um in order to explain you how to create the the Mars helicopter activity. The first thing I need that you do is that you go to this um, website uh, at the in, in the in the stream in the posting area of Google Classroom. I'm gonna copy paste the link. Excuse me. Yes, the link. Yes, the name is a, a website from NASA. Here and you open this one and you're gonna see the instructions this is the this is the project and the instructions for that first of all we need to have a computer with internet access we have our free scratch account that we already have and then uh, we have to download the images of mars and also download the the sprite or or avatar as we call uh, in our computer. In order to do that, you go. In order to do that, you go to this area. You download the zip, and that zip is gonna be download, and you're gonna find it in your download uh, folder in your computer. Normally, it should be like that. Uh, for the sprite image or the avatar, you click here, but you click, you right click this one, right click, not left, not normal, right click here, and go. Where it says save link as and it's gonna be saved you see it's gonna be saved you can save in your desktop or whatever you want I'm not gonna save it because I already have it okay so I cancel and I already have the the images okay they are like pictures when I'm ready with this I'm going I'm going to my scratch um, personal account here this is mine and we go to create there you go and we are in our work area okay the first thing we had we need to do is to get rid of the classical cat sprite we don't need it we upload first of all uh, the sprite we go to choose a sprite here and we upload this sprite we want to find in whatever folder you decided to to put it in my case it was in a, in a special folder that i created with the images and the sprite this is a sprite it looks like this i save it and i have it you have it right here you see it's right here then we go to the backdrops and we choose the one that we want we have the cartoon one and we have the kind of real ones they are equal okay so it's just two pictures i'm gonna go for the real one and i have it here you see so if you want you can you can uh let me let me get control okay of the this one you can make the helicopter the helicopter uh in mars bigger or smaller i'm not going to show that because i think you know it but if not i explained you in class it's very simple but this is the original size i mean the real size you know in a real mars situation if you wish okay <laughs> now what we need is to make is to create a mark here and that mark uh, we're going to create it here with the uh with the first of all we have to go here in the controls down here to the backdrop have control with the backdrop and here you're gonna have this panel to create if you don't see this panel to create the backdrops what you can do excuse me my battery is running low sorry about that okay okay sorry about that uh, uh, what you have to do is to double click here and you have control and you see it if you if that doesn't appear and you are in the code area you just go to backdrops backdrops if it's the backdrop and custom if it's the the sprite in this case is backdrop so what i want to do is to create a landing area here what i do is i go to the circular this circular 
option, but I go to outline, so it has to be like a hole, and my preferred color um, red. So what I do is to more or less, okay, it's here, and more or less place my landing area around here. Something like this could be perfect. Okay, and you can see it here. So I have my landing area. Now let's go with the with the codes. Okay. To have the control of the of the helicopter. Now we click in the helicopter. Remember, you have to see whatever you see here is is what you are applying the codes. In this case, we want to apply it. We double click here or we click here, and you're gonna see the changes here. You see now the helicopter is under control. We're gonna put the commands for the helicopter. Okay, so we start with uh, we go to events and we go to when when this one, but we want when when down area. Yes, we go with this one, but we select when down area, keep press, and that'll be the first one. Then we go to motion and we're gonna go to glide. This one? No, no, this one. Glide with X and Y. Glide with X and Y. And we set up this one. We prefer five seconds so the helicopter doesn't look too, like going too fast and we don't really enjoy it. Okay. And the coordinate here, uh, well, depends on where the, on, on where you want it. But the, the ones that I recommend could be more or less uh let's say x 107 and y minus a more or less that'll be actually this is gonna be here in this in the second quadrant okay uh then we go to sensing yes and we're gonna select this one you want to ask something, but in this case, we can. You can write whatever you want, but for example, you can you can say uh, well, it's an it's a, it's a question, so it could be are you ready? That'll be are you ready? Could be anyway. Okay, uh, that's one control that we're gonna have. You see? And now you see how it's moving to the area. And say, so are you ready? And you can answer, as part of the game, you can answer um, then. Okay, maybe, well, the landing area wasn't as precisely that one. It's a little there, so I'm gonna move it a little bit. So, just go there and then go to backdrops and we're gonna we're gonna move we're gonna change this one yes we're gonna, we're gonna move it no that's not what I want sorry about that yes we're gonna no we're gonna, I want to actually move it oops I need to learn I need to learn how to do that how to move it so I'm gonna do this is do it again and place it more or less where where um, she's with the helicopter as you see it's more or less there no I, really i don't i need to know how to how to move move it I'll open it a little bit more there you go okay so now it's precisely in the area let's continue with codes okay so we got we have to remember we have to change the control for the helicopter now it could be here and now we go to the next control is going to be in events and it says when here but now right arrow when right arrow play, press and then it's going to glide it's going to glide for five seconds five seconds to more or less more or less this area 180 x180 uh, y more or less what 17 16 let's say 60 
more or less there, okay? This will be in the first quadrant, okay? Remember the, the, the Cartesian plane. Uh, the next one also is going to be, um, this is going to be the up arrow, when up arrow here, this one here, sorry about that, when up arrow, and again the glide. Glide is going to be this one, also 5 seconds, remember 5 seconds or 10 seconds if you want, but one, se one second is too fast. And this is going to be in the third quadrant, which is uh, more or less, let's say, minus one, uh, 190, and mm, no, this is, no, actually, in 40, this is actually here, again, in the second quadrant, right? Yes, it's in the second quadrant. So I have a, a relation with, with these two controls over here. I'm not, for the moment, I'm not going to ask more things in the other controls because I'm afraid that create a conflict. So we, we had to, we had to uh, experiment more about that. And finally, the last control, no, excuse me, it's not a last control, more controls. Uh, this is a control for the letters because I have the controls for the down, down arrow, uh, upper right arrow, excuse me, arrow. And I need the one for left arrow, uh, left arrow here, we go to events. When left arrow, left arrow, this one here. And again, uh, glide. And again, five seconds, five seconds. And let's see, for example, here, it could be, uh, let's say, let's say let's try the one that we don't have which is minus and minus minus 170 minus 80 but this is basically here so let's let's do a little away for example so let's see what happens now um, here my helicopter is going to go up. It's, uh, I went a little upper than that. So that'll be possibly, let's say, 100 to go uh, upper than that. You see, it's going to be upper than that. Okay. If you want, as I, as I said, maybe it's too slow, you can reduce the quantity. Let's go with this one. Let's see what happened. See, it moves that way, good, and this one, it goes down. It seems to be that when it goes up and it goes down, it goes too slow, so, ah, yes, we need more, more space here, minus 80, for example. We need, in this one, let's change for 3 seconds, so it goes faster, three, in 3 seconds, faster. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, with this one, uh, you see, go faster, exactly, good, this one, well, it's logical that it's going to be tough to go up, and there you go, and then it's the final, we want to change this one because, this one, this one over here, see, There you go. Okay, good. And that's pretty much, you see. Uh, you're going to use uh, the down arrow, right arrow, up arrow, and left arrow in your computer. All computers have those arrows to have control of your uh, helicopter. And that's the job. That's the job. Okay, so this is going to be the homework. You remember you save it. Here's a save. You save your work. And the homework has to, has to have these, char these characteristics, okay? These are the characteristics that I want. Then you share it, here you share it, okay? And, and then you copy the link, copy the link, and that link you're gonna send me in Google Classroom, okay? You're gonna send me Google Classroom as a homework. 
Okay, guys. I hope this video helped you. Okay, you can do more than that. More, I mean, more than this. There's, there's only, there's only few students that were really experimenting. So, okay, guys, please. I need this to be done. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Take care.